so here we see the natural language processing what is the so there are two kinds of solution given language and speech so uh, the difference between this is this one is more about text okay it can analyze the text and ai speech is more about voice right so for example you see alexa and all that stuff which hear voice and it understand this right so here firstly translation will happen right conversion basically from language to text and then or for that we have studio like for everything we have studio which can where you can use these things easily right so what is the use of natural uh, language uh, processing so it can like uh, analyze and interpret doc email messages right so so it is different than document intelligence or form recognizer because those services are uh, designed for a particular thing right for particular forms or which are not having a full uh, complete text in that so there we can use this right understand and there the speech part is not there so whenever there is voice involved it is the speech part which can help you right if somebody is speaking language you can uh, convert it right translate spoken and an interpret command so this is related to that alexa thing i was telling alexa or uh, that google nest is there right so this is the use of natural uh, language processing which has uh, ai language and speech two services one is text one is speech so azure ai service will check in this video and so there are like the services available as a api right you can create a service and pass the rest url and the authentication these two things and you can access those apis right you can create your own product uh, where um, let's say if you are creating a xpath uh, maybe xpath creator though sanjay has that selector hub you can call that api and ask genai that to correct that uh, xpath or similar stuff maybe you can uh use vision right you can call a vision api and detect that okay that particular image belongs to maybe what kind of book it is or things like that right and these are available on azure and there are pre built services right so if you want to a reader so some of these applications are already there you can directly use they are on the uh, pre trained models uh, that has been used right so these are the various services that are there you can image recognize you can natural language right you can put some voice and it can convert right you can do the search which we have covered in that video and you can apply content safety so content safety has some filters which will remove specific things like uh, if you don't want to see those so that is that you can apply and we have language service also which can summarize text analyze the uh, sentiment of it you can extract key phrases so there are many question that comes from this that okay how you can extract key phrases right so there this service can help and this is also one of the important thing uh, for which things can come which you have to know so uh, you can use azure in two ways one is that uh, you can just add azure ai service then the billing will be like a consolidated billing will be there right so if you don't want to do consolidated billing you want to know that how how much space how much cost vision is happening how much cost speech is doing so then you can create single services okay so if you want to utilize a single service only or if you want the billing different differently then use like this if you want to try multiple things right so then you can use the azure ai service so that is the only difference okay and we can use the various studios which has like if you want to try any of these services azure has the service studio where you can uh, just uh, select the that which resource you want to use right so for example is so th these are two examples that uh, written that there are robots which can assist old people right so using all these services uh, the, uh, we can create such application right and how to find animals endangered species right that uh, so this was about azure ai service okay yeah. so there is a question that could come from the anomaly detection so what happens is that uh, 
like uh, companies want to know that if somebody is doing a fraud and all so in that case or if you if there is a user who looks suspicious right so there is a service which in which the data is fed which can maybe predict that okay if there is a suspicious sign in or a fraudulent card payment so this can also help thank you